guys, it's Ray. So today I thought I could do a little bit of a chatty video. I recently placed an order with Zoeva, which is a German brush company, and I've received my package, so I thought I could do kind of an open boxing first impressions, tell you a little bit more about my experience with the company, and then in the future, if you guys would like to see a more like in-depth review of the brushes that I haul today, then I can do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below. So like I said, Zoeva is a German company. It's definitely getting a lot of hype on YouTube at the moment. It They do sell a wide range of brushes. I mean, YouTube has pretty much been solely kind of dominated, I guess, by Sigma brushes, and they are really great brushes. I highly recommend them. I use them a lot, but I do love makeup, and I do love makeup brushes, and I'm always excited to try some new ones. So this is the box that it came in. It is branded, all really nicely packaged. When you open it up, the, the brushes were protected by, like, this bubble stuff. I was really quite impressed with the um, packaging and the way it was shipped. Everything was then wrapped in like some nice tissue paper and all that. Again, just really, really pretty. It shows that they, they pay attention and put effort into the whole packaging process and you know that you're going to get your brushes and they're going to show up and they're not going to be broken or squished or squashed or anything like that. So um, I was really quite impressed with that. Shipping was really quite quick. I placed this order on the 10th of July and received it on the 17th of July. So I placed the order on a Thursday and received it the following Thursday, which I think is fantastic. Coming all the way from Europe to Australia is just, it's amazing. So the first thing that I ordered was the main reason that I did this. This is the Rose Golden Luxury Set and you can kind of pick and choose how you want the website to be set up. I said that I was coming from Australia and when I did that they put the prices in US dollars. So any of the prices that I mention I will mention in US dollars but I'll try and include the actual like Australian total in the end. I'll have to have a look at my credit card and I'll put that in the description box below for you guys. So the Golden Set or the Rose Golden Set comes in this really really nice like I'm guessing it's faux leather, but a really, really nice, like, textured faux leather bag with the copper or rose golden Zoeva and the zipper. I just, I think that's absolutely stunning. It also came with this bag here. I don't know what this is for. Maybe somebody can tell me. Is it to put your brushes in? Is it just... I don't know, promotional, what is it? But again, really nice quality. It has that brown with the, the rose gold kind of colouring. That's just, I'm so impressed overall already with the packaging. So in the Rose Gold and Luxury set, you do get this bag as well as eight brushes, and I believe this was 68 US dollars. Let me open it up. We have eight brushes here, and the reason that I was kind of really intrigued by this set, obviously, you guys know me, I love my Rose Gold, but I was also quite impressed with the variety of brushes that you got like that was included with the eight, I kind of felt like it was a really good starter brush set. So I'm going to go through the brushes. I believe you get four face brushes and four eye brushes. The first one that we have here is the 106 powder brush. They all have the really nice rose gold or copper ferrule and then it's like a dark brown handle. With the writing on it, you've got Zoeva, the name of the brush, which I always appreciate when you're a YouTuber. You always appreciate having the name of the brush written on the brush um, because it's, it just makes filling out the description box for you guys so much easier and then it has color love makeup which I believe is kind of like their slogan because that's also on the box as well. This is a really 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 soft brush. For size in comparison this is the Real Techniques Multitask brush so you guys can see there it's, it's quite a little bit longer and it's probably got about the same density really really nice soft powder brush and I believe that you could probably use these with cream products as well. Next we have here is the 102 silk finish brush. This I can see being my foundation brush, a really, really nice, densely packed, like buffing brush. I just, I can't wait to use this for foundation. I think this will be absolutely beautiful. Then here we have the 110 face shape brush, which is a little bit smaller as you can see in comparison to the original. This one I think you could probably use to contour really well. You could probably use it to apply highlight. Um, if you prefer a smaller foundation brush, if you only like to really like um, apply in very specific areas. You could easily use this for foundation as well, particularly you have a smaller face and smaller features. It's just, again, a really nice brush. It, it feels soft, but it is quite densely packed. It doesn't have like a lot of give to it. And then the final, I guess, face brush here is we have the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. So again, they all have that really nice, sleek packaging. This one I think would be great for concealer under the eyes, for blemishes. Again, you could also probably use this to contour. These ones would be great for like cream contouring and cream highlighting, I think. So very versatile brushes. 
And again, I'm just so impressed with the quality of them. I just realized I've kind of got that wrong. It's probably more five face brushes to three eye brushes, but I feel like you could probably do your whole face pretty much with this set. The only thing that may be missing is a lip brush. That's probably the only thing you'd need. The next one that you have here is this 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek. This one is a really just nice, you fluffy kind of angled brush blush. You could use this for contour, for bronzer. Really, really, really soft, nice, like the white kind of goat hair bristles. Then moving on to the three eye brushes that we have. The first one here is the 231 Luxe Petite Crease. I really, really love the fact that they included this brush in this set because this one is great for really packing color in the crease, but because it is so tapered, you could easily use this in the same way that you could use a pencil brush. It's definitely got enough hold in it that you could really kind of concentrate your application of color there, put it in the inner corner along the lower lash line. I just, I really, really like the shape of this brush. Great if you have smaller eyes. And then to go with that, you have the 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush. This would be, I guess, probably your equivalent of a MAC 217 or a Sigma Blending E25 brush. Just a really nice soft dome brush. Great for applying color on the lid, for blending out the crease, that kind of thing. I always think that everybody, if you need to buy your first eye brush, this is the kind of eye brush that you need because it's just so versatile. So I'm looking forward to playing around with that one. And the last brush that you get here is the... 317 winged liner brush really like this one it's got quite a, a definite slope there it's quite thin i think you could obviously use this for winged liner for pressing color into the lower lash line and then also for your brows as well so they are the eight brushes that you get in the set along with the case for 68 us dollars i think that's really really great value me personally anyway and so far they seem to be like great quality i can't wait to play around with those and you've got this really nice little bag to I guess put them in if you want to travel with you could use this as a makeup bag it even has a zipper on the inside so it has an, another pocket it's really really great quality I'm, I'm as you can see I'm clearly very impressed with that okay moving on to the few other brushes that I grabbed I tried to pick up brushes that were kind of unique that I didn't already have in my collection so I grabbed three they all come packaged like this which I thought was really really kind of nice again just there's just a, the attention to detail I'm, I'm really really happy with so this is a 322 liner brow line brush this I thought was really really unique because it's so short and so stumpy but yeah I guess it's supposed to be either for brows or I suppose you could also use it for liner as well I just it was completely different to anything that I have in my collection because it's so wide but so short so I wanted to give this one a go I will definitely be trying it for eyebrows particularly but I will give a go with gel liner as well and see how this one goes Speaking of unique brushes, oh sorry, I should probably tell you the price of that one. That one was $6.50 US dollars. The next one here was $14 USD, and this is the Lux Face Paint 109 brush. Again, come in this really nice packaging, but I was just so intrigued by this, particularly for contouring. So, again, not like anything that I have. Oops, and I can't get this off. There we go. Not like anything I have in my collection in this kind of style. I wanted to get this to see what it compared to for contouring in terms of the, if I can find it, which I can't, yes I can, there we go, the NARS Ita brush because this brush goes in and out of stock, it's so hard for people to get, that I wanted to see how this one goes. Now as you can see, they are quite um, similar in shape. This The NARS is obviously a lot bigger and it's a little bit more fluffy. This seems to be... Um, a little bit more dense so I think it'd probably give you a stronger contour but you could definitely use it for that if you sort of used a light hand I can see you being able to get quite a chiseled look with that again down the side of your nose anywhere else that you wanted to contour but I just thought this would be a fun brush to sort of play around with see if I can find any fun uses for it because again it is so unique so I'll report back on that one the final brush that I ordered was the 315 fine liner brush this one is like one of those angled or bent liner brushes I think I do have one of these somewhere, but it seems to have gone missing, and I wanted to give this kind of eyeliner brush a shot again. These all have the silver with the black. I didn't really mention that, but they all all have the writing on it, the Color Love makeup and everything. Very, very similar in to the other Rose Gold and Luxury set, but just the coloring is different. So I'm looking forward to using this to apply my gel liner. I haven't been into gel liner a lot lately, but I'm I'm want to get back into it and play around with it a little bit more. Try and practice since I still have not quite mastered that. So I'm going to give this a go and see if that 
helps with that whole liner application process. And this one was again $6.50. So that is all the brushes that I ordered. On top of the price of the brushes, the brushes came to $95 total. There was also an $18 US shipping fee, which is flat rate, which I thought wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, when you spread it out amongst the order, it works out to be a lot cheaper if you sort of apply it per brush, something like a couple of dollars, um, if that per brush. So what I would say is that if you do want to place an order, try and wait until you have a few different brushes that you want to order. That way that you can sort of get the most out of the shipping or go and order with a friend if you know this friend or your mum or sibling. Um, place your order together and that way you the shipping won't be too much. Like I said, the shipping was really, really fast and it came packaged nicely and I didn't have any damage or anything like that. So the $18 was worth it for the shipping. The brush prices themselves, I mean, $6.50, $14, dollars you kind of looking at quite uh, reasonable prices. They are definitely comparable to Sigma prices. I think some probably are a little bit cheaper, some may be a little bit more expensive. Um, it's really up to you in comparison to how um, the exchange rate is and things like that. I do know that because it is a, a European company that you can sort of see the prices in uh, other currencies other than just US dollars so that's helpful there's also in pounds and things like that for those of you in the UK and other than that that's pretty much just what I wanted to talk about so far I'm really impressed if you have any questions let me know in the comments below about my experience but the, the website was really easy to use and like I said I didn't have any problems I didn't really need to use the customer service or anything like that because my order came really quickly. So if you have placed an order from Zoeva, let me know what you've ordered and if you've tried any brushes, if you have recommendations, um, if you have different ways of using them, I'd love to hear from you. And other than that, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!